So the unified breathing mask is a mask that allows sailors to address a multitude of threats that they could encounter in a shipboard environment, whether it be egress from a smoke-filled compartment, fighting fires, dealing with any sea burn, chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear threat, and uh, even actually has an added capability to be used in the event of flooding. The problem that I encountered as a forward repair locker officer on my first ship, where we were in a GQ scenario, but also in MOP, and uh, I was in charge of sending my flying squad, so those are the responders out. They were wearing SCBA rigs. In this particular drill, the fire that we were combating was spreading to my Ford repair locker number two in the forecastle. And while we secured from that drill, the question arose in my mind, what would I do had that fire spread, had my team been incapacitated and I had to remove my mask and then deal with an oxygen deprived environment, which a, a gas mask doesn't address. That stayed with me and identified that as a weak point uh, that I would never want to see myself ever again or any sailor for that matter. We have uh, EBDs to, to facilitate egress. We have gas masks for sea burn, and then we have separate SCBA masks for fighting fire. Uh, but we have nothing to address in the event that a sailor is uh, challenged with a scenario where there's overlapping threats. Uh, so the, the most unique aspect is that we can address that difference in use uh, but with that added benefit, actually, the, the regulator weighed, rated to work underwater with supplied air, we demonstrated that it could work in a, what would be a flooded compartment, which is a current use case that none of our masks are able to address. So all you would have to do is a, there's a quick release, single action, just one-handed. Uh, you can swap out between uh, having a passive filter for gas mask use or slapping on a regulator. Addition of a quick release for air supply, um, the, the mask is fed by a small air tank for egress, uh, but it enables sailors to keep their mask on when they egress to say get to a SCBA uh, locker for a full rig and they don't have to ever even take their mask off and they can don their full rig uh, and then turn around and engage the fire with the same mask that they rolled out of their rack and uh, escaped with, or even more so, if I were asleep in my rack and there's smoke billowing in the space, I'm now empowered to take that mask with the supplied air and go fight a fire with a CO2 bottle or a PKP bottle um, with the confidence that I have equipment now uh, that's compatible with what my shipmates are using. So while the flying squad is dressing out and when they respond, uh, I can be, when I'm relieved, the uh, first responder there with a full rig with a Y-share system can share their air and just quick connect with my mask and then egress with me to relative safety while the relief team takes over. So it in fact gives us more of a force multiplication. It's comfortable and I have a really small head, small face, but so I couldn't get the straps tight soon. Would I normally tighten my uh, Scott AB3002? So it's a little bit looser, but it still held a really good seal. Uh, really like the look. Comfortable as well. All of the uh, additional capabilities that it brings to the table. It increases the ability to train. So currently um, there are limitations with, for example, with the egress mask. Uh, in order to actually activate it and, and use it, uh, you would expend it and it's, that's, it can get expensive. So now you can take your mask and just, anytime you have a GQ, you can just have to take your compressed air and use your existing SCBA recharge station and you can train in conjunction with damage control. That in turn, will enable sailors to be more capable or more potent. They will survive in instances where they are in a dire strait and in their survivability will then directly impact the survivability of the ship. In the recent events uh, where we've lost sailors to flooding limited to a single compartment, uh, could that have made a difference if instead of EBDs, did, if we had masks that function underwater gave them a little bit more time to get out of those spaces. And with quick disconnect, take uh, lessons learned from the submarines with EABs, where they tie in directly to HP air throughout the ship. Uh, now, we don't have that currently in ships, but if in future ship design, we incorporated HP airlines throughout the ship, that could be an additional organic component that could provide options to our sailors when they need air in compromised spaces, whatever that threat may be.
initially working with a shipyard moonshine lab to build some 3D printed prototypes, but there was only so far that could go and there were limitations there. And Tech Solutions uh, saw the progress and recognized the merit of the effort and I'm ever grateful to Tech Solutions and ONR for being the sponsor to give me more of a voice and uh, backing to get the word out to leadership that there's a demand signal and that there's a need and that there's a solution relatively straightforward to employ and uh, I would not have been successful without ONR and Tech Solutions. I am doing my best to communicate to leadership uh, and communicate down to our sailors of what can be done, what should be done, um, that they can make a difference, that their ideas matter. And um, those sailors that I presented to, specialists at the DC Schoolhouse, uh, in the SWA Schoolhouse in Pearl Harbor, they're excited about what we're trying to do. A sailor's hard to please, so knowing that we have something that would make their jobs better, easier, make us more combat ready and capable mariners uh, will make a difference and because every little bit will count in the future.